IPF uh, is a disease that um, starts actually usually with increased dyspnea on exertion. Uh, the patient experiences dyspnea first only if he does heavy exercise, let's say running or at high altitude, and if he then is at rest again, he's fine. The problem is that, as I said, these pe people are elderly and they consider sometimes, oh, it's normal. I get older, so my dyspnea is due to my age. And also the doctor may feel it. So that is one reason why it's usually diagnosed late. Another symptom is cough. Um, and these are the two main symptoms, cough and dyspnea on exertion. The clinical signs, and they are quite characteristic for IPF, are the, the crackles. Fine crackles, they start by basally and very early in the lateral fields of the lungs, the lateral lower fields, there where you have them, hear them first. And by my experience, uh, these are very early signs. If you have a true IPF population, almost every patient has this. In the literature, it says more than 80% by my experience, uh, more than 95%. Yeah. Another sign which you easily can see is a clubbing. If you look at the fingers, you see the clubbing, fingers and toes. But that's not so frequent, up to 60% have clubbing. It also becomes more prominent uh, if a patient is advanced. Advanced patients, all of them have clubbing. Yeah. These are the signs and symptoms. So they are mainly non-specific, yeah, except for the crackles. The crackles are quite uh, impressive and characteristic of IPF. Other fibrotic lung disease may also have crackles. Most of them at a lower frequency than in IPF. Uh, but let's say other lung disease have not these crackles like pneumonia, have a different COPD, emphysema, cardiac disease with chronic congestion have not these type of crackles but different uh, lung sounds. So that is quite unique to IPF and it's important to educate also doctors uh, to listen to these sounds and uh, to come to the correct uh, um, suspicion of IPF and take the correct diagnostic measures when they hear these sounds.